pretend play and learn colors with me, the funny purple monster, just for kids. Hi, this is Chell, and I'm Chell's favorite monster. Say hi, cousin Chell. Today, we are gonna play games in her room. Oh, but first I think we're gonna deconstruct me a little bit, so go ahead and pull my, my horn off. Oh, oh no, my horn. It's okay, it doesn't hurt at all. She actually likes to change my appearances. <laughs> uh oh, now I don't have ears. Chell, what am I gonna do without ears? I can't hear, can you give my ears back? Yeah, thank you, Those. that's where my ears go. There's one ear, very good. And two ears, look, I have ears. Yeah, you gonna take them again? Oh, I can't hear. Ah, ah, I can't hear anything. Chell, hurry, put my ears back so I can hear again. I can't hear anything. Oh, oh, I seem to have an ear beard. <laughs> an ear beard, see? That's where the beard normally goes. But now I have an ear where my beard is. Can you see my tongue? Ah, where's your tongue? Let me see your tongue. Nah. My tongue is pink. Oh, oh no. Oh no. She took, she took my nose. What am I supposed to do with my nose? Oh no. Oh no. Do you want to put my nose back on? You can be seeing into my nose. Chell, I can't hear without my nose. Ah! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, that's that. Oh, thank you so much for putting my nose back. I thought for sure I wasn't going to be able to smell anything for a while. Oh, put my ear back. Good job, Chell. Thank you so much. Maybe Chell will give me some new eyes. See my eyes? Mmm. What have you found? Oh, wow. You want to pull some of that stuff out of there, Chell? She's got all sorts of things in there. Chell likes to dig into bags. Oh, dump it out. Very good. All of the things in the bag are now on the floor. That's going to be a mess to clean up later. Oh, what is that? That looks like a whole new monster. Oh, okay. Hold on to all this. Help! The ear's stuck to my face. I can't get the ear off of my face. Oh, there we go. At least I can kind of talk a little bit. Chill. What's under the bed? Can you find any monsters under the bed? Oh, wait. I'm the only monster in this room. Hide under the bed. Hide. Oh, Chell, I hope there aren't any other monsters under this bed. I don't think so. It's just me and you. Okay. Chell, do you see any balls under this bed? Oh, wow. I think I see a yellow ball. Can you get the yellow ball? Get the yellow ball. It's right there. I can't reach. Reach. Ah. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm gonna go night night. Night night. Wake up. Okay, I'm awake. Okay, go get the ball. Can you go get that ball over there? It's just, yeah, get it. Right here. You get it? Reach. Reach. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Okay, let's get out from under the bed. Come on. I'll just run to the other side. Hi. Oh, where did you go? This is a really fun place that we like to go sometimes because Chell has lots and lots of toys. What have you got over here, Chell? Can you show me? Oh, look, she's got a horsey, a really tiny horsey that she tries to ride. Chell, what's a horsey say? Me. Very good. That's a horsey say. Oh, can I ride the horse? Okay. I'm gonna ride the horse. Wow, this is so much fun. Fall down. Oh, poof. Oh, I fell off the horsey. I got an owie on my head. Owie. Can you give me a kissy? I got an owie on my head. Yeah, give me a kissy on my ear. I got owie on my ear.
Oh, thank you so much. All better. I feel better because you gave me a kissy. And it's very nice of you. I'm gonna give you a hug. Aww. Thank you. I'm okay now. I promise I'm okay. Mm-hmm. All better. All better. I'm gonna give you a kissy. Mwah. <laughs> See, it's not so bad having monsters in your room. Sometimes monsters are very nice. Okay, walk. you're gonna walk? Where are we walking to? You have lots of books. Do you think I should read her a book? Oh, wow, that's a good book. Okay, open it up. Good night, comb, and good night, brush. Do you see a comb and a brush anywhere? Right there, I see it. It's next to the lamp, right there, see? <laughs> Turn the page. That's the old lady who's whispering, hush. <clears throat> oh, that's my favorite book. I think it's upside down though. Turn it around. Very good. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, I like this page. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears and he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums and he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries and then he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. What else did he eat through, Chell? I think it's time for Chell to go night-night. Chell, do you want to go sleepy? Let's go night-night. Yeah, it's a good time to go night-night, especially when you're sleepy. Okay, show me how you get into bed. Oh, you crawl up that way? Okay, let me see. Okay, yeah, I can go night-night too. Okay, but give me a kissy first, and then I'll lay down with you and we'll go night-night <laughs> with George the monkey. Night-night, child. I love you. Okay, now that Chell's asleep, let's talk about things that most people are afraid of, like snakes, spiders, big hungry sharks, and crocodiles. Some people are scared of ants, and really, ants aren't all that bad. In fact, they're one big family, and their main job is to clean up the environment. Although we never want to play with ants because they do bite, and we shouldn't mess with them anyway because they're just very busy, and they don't have time to play. Some people are really scared of bees, and while they are pretty, we should never touch them because they can sting us. You know why? Because they're busy. They don't have time to play like we do. That's because they are busy making honey. That's right, bees make honey. They are busy, busy, busy making lots and lots of sweet, sweet honey. Yummy. Oh, now look at this guy. This is a really scary looking caterpillar. Now you really shouldn't touch caterpillars because, well, they're very hungry and it's very important that they eat a lot of food. So the more time that they can eat, the more time they have to turn into a, oh wait, do you know this? Caterpillars change. Look at this, a caterpillar attached himself to a branch and now he's turning colors. Oh wow, he went from being a caterpillar to some sort of what's called a cocoon. And now it's changing colors. Oh, look, what do we see here? What's happening? Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, it's opening. He's a butterfly. Wow. Caterpillars turn into butterflies after a certain period of time. Big, beautiful, colorful butterflies. Thank you so much for watching our video today. We hope you had a good time. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can watch more of our videos. We have a lot of fun videos for you to watch. See you next time. Goodbye.